The studies identified that vetalizumab was effective for the treatment of Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis in patients, for the most part, who had failed other therapies, including our best therapies currently available, which are what are called TNF blockers. So this was really an important finding for patients uh, who are failing these medications and um, are suffering from inflammatory bowel disease. I think the most exciting part of it is that uh, this molecule has the potential to be something quite different than our existing therapies. You know that Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis are chronic inflammatory diseases. Uh, they're conditions of the immune system where you have a dysregulated immune response, uh, presumably to the bacteria in the bowel. And we don't really know the cause of that dysregulated response, and so we're forced to treat that with potent immunosuppressive anti-inflammatory drugs. And these drugs have side effects because they're broad spectrum. They affect inflammation in the gut, which is what we want them to do, but they also affect inflammation in other places, such as the lungs, the skin, the brain, where we don't want to suppress the immune system. And the consequence of that broad spectrum uh, activity is really side effects, which are unwanted, things like pneumonia or skin infections or blood infections. Vetalizumab, because of its nature, it interferes with trafficking of white blood cells into the gut specifically, as opposed to other places in the body, really has the potential advantage of providing selective suppression of the immune system and perhaps avoiding a lot of the side effects that are major uh, detriment to patient care.